Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, then I'm so happy to meet you. If not, then welcome back. As always, please subscribe to my channel. Turn on your notifications bell and you will get notified each time I have a new upload. And also, if you like the sounds of today's video, then please give it a big thumbs up. So let's get straight into it. So, as you can probably tell by the title of today's video, I am asking parents to stop this whole grieving thing about your autistic children. So I hear it so often and I see it on TikTok and I hear it on the radio when parents are talking. And it's this thing about grieving your autistic child, which I just think personally is the biggest load of crap ever. I'm gonna tell you why. Number one is pushing this really negative narrative with being autistic and I think pushing that negative narrative is really unfair to parents of autistic children and autistic people themselves this this grieving thing it just makes it sound like being autistic or your child being diagnosed as being autistic is this really awful thing which we know is just not true um and it's something that just really gets on my nerves when I hear that um, it's quite frankly, it's insulting. I heard someone on the radio recently and they were talking about their autistic daughter and they were talking about an article they wrote for the paper. Now, I'm just going to, I have it written down just the exact title and when you hear it, you'll understand. So, this is the title. Before celebrating the wonderful child you have, you mourn the one you don't. So rather than taking something positive about your child and putting that as the title, you're taking that really, really negative thing and putting that as the title. I just like I just don't get this thing of mourning the child you don't have. When someone is having a child, you don't know what that child is going to be like. You don't know what colour hair they're going to have. You don't know what hobbies they're going to like when they grow up. And quite frankly, you don't know what newer type they're going to be. You don't know if they're going to be disabled or not. So this thing of grieving the child you thought you were going to have. I mean, I mean, what did you think? Did you have their entire life planned out? Did you think this, this, this and this is going to happen? It just doesn't make sense. And the same person on the radio was saying that... Um, that they were never going to get to walk their daughter down the aisle. Their daughter is six years old. Okay, so first of all, you be planning ahead. Second of all, autistic people get married. Autistic people don't get married and they're, they can be just as happy. Just like neurotypical people don't always get married. I mean, what's to say your other children won't get married and your autistic daughter might actually get married? You know, and like this thing of walking down the aisle or whatever, and these sort of social norms that are pushed on, you know, marriage and children and all these sort of things. Like, is that how you think success is measured? Is it measured by your child getting married? Or is success actually measured by your child being happy in life? And it just... I can't even put into words exactly just how much annoys me when people talk about grieving. I also think it's it's insulting to parents out there who have children who have been diagnosed with terminal illnesses such as cancer and they know their child is going to die. They are the people who will be grieving their children when their children are gone. And I can guarantee you if you asked any of them would they rather their child be autistic and alive? Then I'm pretty sure you know the answer. But this thing of grieving, it's, I just don't get it. Like, I just don't get it. And I see on TikTok even people encouraging others to grieve. Like, it's so insulting to your child. You're grieving a child that is alive. Like, it doesn't even make any sense. And I know I'm ranting on a little bit, but it is something that really, really annoys me because... Your child is alive and your child can go on to do many things 
with the right supports. We know that with autistic people, we all need different supports. We all have different support needs. Finding what supports work for your child, finding what hobbies your child likes, that they can be happy, that they can enjoy themselves. That's what's important. You know, your child hopefully progressing to school, getting, you know, supports that they need and getting the right supports. You know, I'm not going to make this an ABA video, but we all know avoid ABA. And also, if you're sending your child to school or whatever, really look into your school and make sure that ABA is not something that they do. And I know that's a bit of a by the way, but that is really important too. I think that this whole thing of grieving a child because they're autistic, it's, it's like saying they're less than. And it's like saying that being autistic is bad. And it's almost like saying being autistic is as bad as being dead or something. Because, I mean, you grieve someone when they've passed away. It doesn't make sense. And it sounds like, to me, it sounds like parents, quite frankly, you know, having a pity party. And this is not all parents. I hear so many parents, you know, talking on the radio, talking on the TV, social media, who are positive about their children and who don't go down this route of, oh, you know, I have to grieve or, oh, look at all I have to do. And, oh, it's so tough. And going into like really personal details about the child's toilet habits or something. And I, I think it boils down to a certain level of respect as well. But I think it also boils down to what society has taught people of what autism is. And I think that that's why it's so important for autistic adults to speak out and to talk about being autistic and show that, yes, we can succeed in life and that no success is not measured by marriage success might not be measured by university or having children however autistic people can do all those things and that's why i really do urge parents if there's parents watching this and you've been down that rabbit hole of oh i must grieve and oh it's very negative and oh it means my child won't be able to do this won't be able to do that try and live in the present try and look at what your child can do and try and look at what you can do to make your child's life better and getting the right supports. I know that there's obviously a lot of people at the moment saying how difficult it is to get supports and I do understand that but there's so much parents can do themselves to support their children. I feel like I probably ranted a little bit but I'm going to go ahead and conclude today's video. Um, as always I mean share your thoughts below in the comments um i keep them kind and respectful and i will leave my instagram tiktok details down below and my email address if you want to get in contact so thank you very very much for watching and i will see you very soon